This video is the first in a series of videos on connecting C Sharp to MySQL via a third party uh, piece of software called uh, MySQL Connector. And you can get this from the URL dev.mysql.com uh, slash downloads slash connector slash net. And there's actually several other connectors, ODBC, J, Python, C, and so on. And some of these others might work, especially ODBC. But my preference is for .NET, mainly because that's the one I got to work. You just press the download uh, button and then run the uh, MSI installer. And I've already done that and I think it's pretty standard. I mean, if you've been in this business any length of time at all, you've installed software and it goes pretty straightforward. And then create a new Windows form application and we'll call this uh, MC01 dash uh, my SQL connection. and press OK. And then you want to go over to the references. This is actually similar to our previous video on uh, connecting to uh, VLC, another third-party software. But this time, rather than right-clicking on the main uh, Solution Explorer, we click on the references, right-click, and then click Add Reference. And as I mentioned before, we're using a .NET reference. So we need to go down to uh, MySQL data. Select that and press OK. And then you'll notice the MySQL data appears in, under the references. So we now have a connection to a DLL that will allow us to connect to MySQL and double click on the form to go into the form load event and the first thing we want to do is add a using I type using uh, mysql dot data dot mysql client And before we run this, another thing we have to do is we have to have installed uh, some version of, uh, of uh, MySQL since we're running it in a local version. And the version I have is WAMP. There's WAMP and XAMP and HAMP and all kinds of different versions. But I just click on uh, on WAMP and then say yes run it and you'll notice the uh, icon for WAMP server appears at the bottom goes from red to yellow to green and we know it's running so we're using localhost we could use a remote server in fact we'll probably do that in later videos but in this case we're just using localhost so we'll have to have WAMP or some other version that uses MySQL. Like in the case of WAMP, you're using Apache, MySQL, and PHP. That's what it stands for, Windows, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. And then we need to add the following code to the, uh, the form load event, since right now we're just testing the uh, creating a connection. So we have MySQL connection and an object name connection that gets instantiated and then we need a connection string and the string includes server equals localhost since we're using a local computer database equals test which is a database I created in PHP my admin previously and then a UID of Doug and then put in a, your password for Doug that needs to have access to this database and I'm not showing my real password because I don't think I used it anywhere else but just in case I thought I'd hide my real password 
and then you do connection dot open and we're not doing anything with it this video since this is just an introduction of how to create the MySQL connection so I'm just popping up a message box that queries information about the connection so I have server version connection dot server version and database uh, connection dot database so if these show it means the connection is valid and then we do a connection dot close to just close the connection and of course all this happens before the form loads because it's in the form load event so if we run this we see the message box box pop up server version 5.5.20 and the database test and then the form comes up well I hope you uh, enjoyed this video and learned a lot and I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe.